As again, boys, Triple X to heal you here. I'm here to rant about the VDV and just how terrible the division is in its current form and how absolutely overpowered other divisions are in comparison. But first, I'd like to mention that I wanted to extract one of the divisions I played against. However, the, the notepad file came up in fucking Chinese. And it's also non-responsive. So, that's great. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do about that. If anybody knows how to extract a, a Chinese deck, uh, let me know. That'd be very helpful. Anyways, let's just get right back, right into it. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the deck. This might take quite a while because there's a lot to talk about here, but it is absolute fucking garbage in every way, shape, or form. And what I'm going to do to prove that to you is I'm just going to compare the units to units in other divisions. Okay, so. First of all. Descent Niki. Why? Why is it 45 points? Like, Assault and Airborne? Okay, fantastic. But, like, it's still 7 dudes. Jaeger, 11. And they are... 50... Pioneer are 10, and they're 40. Why? You're just not... You're not allowed to play this deck at all, and uh, the Desaniki are 110% your mainline infantry. So, good good fucking luck. And then it's even worse with the... with the Desaniki BMD, because they have one last man. Right? Six dudes for 45 points when Pioneer are 40 for 10. They both have Assault. The difference is one of them is Ford Deploy, right? But is Ford Deploy worth however much they're pricing Ford Deploy at? Absolutely fucking not. It's terrible. So terrible. Okay, Superior RPO. So mind you, this is the weakest Superior RPO in any of the Soviet divisions. It just randomly has three less men. Uh, not entirely sure why. I'm pretty sure eight dudes can fit into a fucking helicopter. Every Soviet division has eight men RPO, except for you. So, cry about it. And, uh, the NATO counterpart that you're the exact same price as is Engineer's Flash. Which... Yeah, for man for man, it's priced reasonably well. Until you look at the Flash Launcher and you realize... It's it's amazing. It's fantastic. There's no way you're going to beat a flash launcher ever. So, <laughs> it has a saddle length of 4 with 8 rounds, meaning it can shoot 4 shots back to back to back before it goes into its reload of 6 6 seconds. Meanwhile, you have to shoot once and then you go into a reload of 3 seconds. Yeah, and there's not much drawback to that several length of four either. Like, yeah, it does slightly less HE damage, but HE damage isn't really the killer for uh, for infantry going up against these type of weapons. It's the depression, and you can dish out... How many shots can you dish out? You can dish out probably four shots. You can dish out four shots, most likely, before you have to go into a reload in the time that I take to shoot once, which means you're doing 400 suppression. I'm only doing 125 that same amount of time. I don't, I don't understand. Another thing I want to talk about is the Descent Superior. What the hell is this? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> and why? Okay, something else I would like to talk about here is the Spetsnaz. You guys all might be saying, well, you have Spetsnaz. Spetsnaz. Use the Spetsnaz. Spetsnaz are pretty good. Except for you're wrong. They used to be good. Now, they're just overpriced and mediocre. Rangers are 65 points. Yeah, they have three less dudes, but they're still 65 points. Way cheaper. They have the same amount of machine guns. They have... It's actually a worse... They actually have a worse submachine gun. So your submachine gun's better, I suppose. Because you have a higher rate of fire, and... Uh, you have a faster reload time as well. However, they're going to have two Rangers by the time you have two Spetsnaz if you're going up against the 8th Infantry. So, like, consider yourself... Tell yourself fucked. Rangers Dragon are 80 points, and your Spetsnaz is 90. Mech Rifles Dragon, 11 men with the Dragon 2, are 
70 points and your specializer 90. Also, by the way, you get six availability per card for either one of these special forces units when the specializers only have four availability per card. It means that you have to take two cards if you want your specialized force to just not dissipate by bombers, because it will. You can't defend yourself of bombers in this deck. Not at all. Or defend yourself from bombers deck. Not at all. It doesn't matter how you build this retarded ass <laughs> AA tab. You will be bombed, and the bomber will get away. Unless you bring out six MiG-29s. But it's only a matter of time before your MiG-29s all fucking die, because they are super trash in comparison to the other planes at similar price points because of availability. So you have the same availability as the F-16 AA, the MiG-29. Except for the F-16 AA has 10% more ECM. And this specific MiG-29 is better. Yes, but you only get two of those. Meanwhile, the 8th Infantry can bring six of these F-16s. This MiG-29, the one that you have four of and you're going to have to rely on a lot, is going to get its ass absolutely destroyed by the... So, what I really feel like should happen, I feel like BDV should get the S. That way, maybe, just maybe, I can fight in the air. Maybe. But right now, all you're going to be doing in the sky, unless you start with... Unless you buy, like... Four of these in quick succession and use them all at once but then your opponent can do the same thing with better aircraft but if they don't then you can get an advantage but for right now if you're using the you're just gonna lose every single air fight and pretty obvious unless somebody's using phantoms i highly doubt they will be but even the phantom will do pretty good against your mig-29s because of that 20% ECM. Now we're gonna talk about the tornado. Tornado absolutely fucking dusts your MiG 29s. Absolutely dust it. And it has the same availability in uh, all of the tornado decks. You can build, bring a fuck ton of tornadoes. And then, like, we come in here, second Panzer is pretty popular right now, right? You got the F 16, this one. This one absolutely dusts your MiG-29s as well, because your MiG-29s are going to most likely miss their long-range shot. Yeah, you can try to fire the long-range shot at it and then turn around. I've been trying to do that to the best of my capabilities, but it never turns around in time, and this guy gets on their tail and just launches all six of their infrared missiles right into your asshole. And it's not fun at all. And you get tornadoes. Fantastic. And then, uh, like, wh what is the availability in this deck, dude? This deck's availability is absolutely fucking insane, especially compared to the 35ths. And it gets tanks. Like, the infantry availability is insane. This is insane. I, I just... I don't know what else to talk about when I'm comparing this deck to other decks because it's just like flat out you just you just you're just trash dude you can't do a damn thing about anything because all your rear infantry is trash except for the spetsnaz but the spetsnaz I think is slightly overpriced and uh, also it's useless at long range engagements as well very useless at long range engagements outside this 500 meters you get 500 meters so you get building the building fighting do you need eight of these to be building the building fighting probably not eight you probably get with just one card but it feels like you have to take these because everything else sucks five dudes five dudes this is seven dudes and it's 40 points which is cool mind you but some people get jaeger 11 men for 40 points Afghansky being 50 points for 7 dudes? Bro, please. Throw me a bone. This being 55 points? Insane. They highly overvalue the medium machine gun. This this thing does not do shit. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything at all. Tank tab shit. 
And uh, using the D44s doesn't work in this deck, unlike in Berlin Grouper Rung, because in Berlin Grouper Rung, you can apply massive amounts of pressure. You can't do that in this division. You can't apply massive amounts of pressure in uh, the VDV. You're going to lose the recon fight. Because your recon sucks. You're just... You're going to lose, man. There's... <laughs> there is nothing here for the VDV. Nothing at all. Unless you do U.S. rush. But if you U.S. rush... They expect it. You're just going to get shat on. Anyways, let's get into a game. I can give you an example. And this is the game where I tried to extract the, the other person's deck file from from the notepad the replay file and uh it's fucking chinese i don't know why maybe i got hacked but uh yeah that's crazy why is it in chinese i'm just gonna bring it up again where is it why isn't it popping up there we go. Yeah, dude, it's in Chinese. Or Mandarin, or Taiwanese, whatever the hell this language is. Fuck. Why? <laughs> Anyways, I missed uh, a lot of important shit, I'm sure. But, uh... Yep. Yes. Two 10-man Pioneer squads for 40 points. I have two Descent Superior squads, five man for 30 points. I spent 60 points for 10 less men. And he spent 80 points for 10 more men. Um, Lux. Good luck killing anything when your opponent has good micro. Anything that's a vehicle. Because they can just duck in and out between buildings and cut off your line of sight really easy. Uh, here we go. You can't defend yourself from bombers at all. I'm not going to be able to see that until it's dropping its bombs. So he's just going to get free bombing runs off on me. Yeah, I might have killed it for right now, but uh, nope. And my 24 VP is over here trying to do what it does, but the Gepard is amazing at destroying helicopters, and I don't know how to kill the Gepard right now, aside from bringing in a bomber or a MiG-27 rocket. But I'm able to keep my my 24 VP alive. I put it to the back, and now I'm just trying to locate that Gepard for me to cluster bomb and rocket strike it at the same time. Now my opponent here is using two Lars, just like the grads, pretty smart with the field depot. And uh, due to the nature of dual maps, he has all the time in the world. He can take as long as he wants to set up an offensive, which really hurts. I tried to use Vasilex, but uh, the Leopard 1-on-1 -on -one spam, 1-on-1 -one -on -one spam is already there to destroy my Vasilex. And I did get the Gepard somehow, I don't know how, but I did. And now the tornadoes are coming out to defend his shit on the ground. Because I can't I can't contend with these light tanks at all on the ground. Not at all. I mean a little bit. I can fight a little bit with the light tanks on the ground. But not much. Now I have two in my 24 VPs. Unbeknownst to me, there wasn't much AA in here, but how do I know that? I didn't even see myself kill that Gepard that I killed randomly. Uh so to me the Gepard's still alive over there. Over here, Jaeger off clear. 11 dudes recon, 60 points. You have nothing to match this. What you have is you have the Descent and Resvedka, which is 8 dudes. And they're going to be 105 points because you have to bring them in a helicopter. Very nice. And then over here, my MiG-29 is just getting destroyed. You could have said, why didn't you turn him around whenever you saw the, the tornado? Uh, because he has a lot of long-range missiles, and he's just going to rip my asshole open, so I have to go for the head-to-head -head with my Sidewinder. I wonder if the audio is coming across well for you. We'll turn that up a little bit. Anyways, Lars just going to town. This is the... The main strategy against any airborne division right now is to just sit back and then uh, artillery it with MLRS because you can do that on dual maps because there is no point tick. The point tick does not exist. I'm like this for up until like 20 minutes in, like 20 minutes I'm plus two. 
and there's just no hope. I am starting to battery his uh, IHOX because I'm smart. And you have to if you want to use air units. The Larses are just going to keep on ripping sh shit up. It's sad. But I guess this finally answers the question of is the Lars capable of being annoying? Yes, it's very capable of being annoying. Once again, he just gets these free bombing runs off on me. I know that there's an off player over here, but I can't spot it because uh, I can't afford to bring out any recon right now. And this is what I'm talking about. He's playing around with the lines of sight really well, and uh, my ATGMs get too close to the sun and just die. The 27 m cluster bomber comes in here, tries to kill the Gepard. Does not, because this guy isn't retarded, and he knows how to micro. Here's the F-16AA, just murdering everything. He gets murdered by my MiG-29, though, thankfully. Thank you, MiG-29, for not missing. Another HE bomber comes in. I can't do dick. I can't do anything about this, but if I don't put somebody over here, what's going to happen is he's just going to roll in with a bunch of shit. Uh, earlier in the game, I tried to send a Spetsnaz OP up the road, and it died somewhere. I tried to get his uh, Lars oh, somewhere over here. I don't know where he died. But, uh, yep, backline action is not happening. There you are. Nice. And, uh, my MiG 29s are here to defend, but they can't. They, can't. they didn't even kill it. I didn't even get to kill the Harrier, and I couldn't defend my unit. Now I'm trying to. I'm still trying to posture myself in a way where I'm baiting out the Gepard, and then I'm going to strike it with my aircraft, keep my cool alive, but he is just rolling, rolling, rolling into me. I do get a really nasty cluster bomber strike right there, and uh, I should be able to use this Akula here, except for the fact that he has shit tons of aircraft, and I can't defend my Akula anymore because half of my planes have died. So, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to fly over his tank guns and into positions that I feel are good for me. But there's already another Gepard out here. I took the, the seed plane out of my deck because a lot of times people, a lot of divisions have infrared AA and the seed plane can often just be a waste of activation points. But in this case, I suppose a terrible mistake. Two tornadoes flying about murder that uh that make twenty nine by itself because I was outnumbered and uh, then they go in and they kill my Akula. Because I can't defend my Akula. I have no good AA. I could buy like a million Iglas if I wanted to, but as you can see, if I want to stay in this game, I can't afford it. Honestly, the game is over at this point. I'm trying to play it out the best I can. I mean, eventually he has to run out of stuff, right? Drunk. He does not have to run out of stuff. My 24 VAA gets some good kills, but then it dies to the tornado because I can't defend my helicopters. This is a division where you have to use your helicopters to fight everything, but you can't defend your helicopter. Give it SU-27s. Please. <laughs> Give it SU-27s. Please. Artillery coming down on the IHOC. Doing pretty good with my 122s. And, uh, well, he's taken this, this area entirely, and I couldn't reinforce it fast enough because my shit is so damn expensive in comparison to his. Like I said, 40 points for 10 man assault satchel, 40 point, 50 points for 11 man. What am I supposed to do, Lord? Because again, I'm just trying my best to play the clock. Now he's at plus two. Finally, he started gaining points after... Uh, what would that be? 25 minutes? The Conquerors are just so easily avoidable too. Like I said, he's smart. So he knows how not to get shot at Conquerors. You, you can avoid all ATGMs pretty easily if you want to. And he's doing it pretty good. The tornado's just circling around. I can't do anything about it. He took that fight right there with a little bit. Uh, 
UA3, so I could win it, but then he has these fucks Milans everywhere that are 25 points for a Milan. Very fun. Area comes in about my BMD swarm that I dispatched over here. To try to get back into this zone, hopefully. And here's my superior stacks. This is really good mech, mech play that I'm doing right here, but he can do it to me just as well on the other side, which is the issue, so I'll never be able to push him out all the way. And he gets way more martyrs than I get uh, BMDs. Martyr 183s, by the way, can actually will win fights against the BMDs because their armor is significantly better, and they are they're not up ahead at all, actually. But it will win their fights against the BMDs because they have more armor. BMD, mind you, is 50 points. And the Martyr is also 50 points. Like, yeah, you have a better set of weaponry, but the BMD just will not survive at all. Anything. Here comes another super shit stack of infantry. It's not vetted up either, so he gets fucked tons of these per card. And, uh, as you can see, my Desaniki are struggling. My BMDs, I try to send them up to fight the Martyr Milans, but they're just gonna get torn to shreds because there are these bows here that are, uh, supporting them. But, uh, the Martyr Milans probably would've killed them by themselves anyways. Because they're being vetted up by this, uh, this CD right there. I am running entirely out of units, and uh, I've decided to just <laughs> mortar spam and try to kill the CV. Hopefully, if I can kill the CV, maybe I can stop the bleed long enough to be able to pull out a draw. He's just going to buy another CV and then move his own, and I'm not going to kill it. Area murders a bunch of shit with no chance of me retaliating, even though there's an igloo right there. <laughs> now he's starting his assault on this zone over here. I do have this guy just sitting over here. I could drop onto his Lars, but it's too late in the game. Matter enough. Now he's dead. You know what else? This is the only airborne division without tanks. So I feel like you should get way crazier availability and everything and way cheaper activation point slots and everything in comparison to the other airborne divs because they all have tanks. 92nd has Sheridans, 11E has Saggies, and both of those are extremely good. You don't have anything that's even like a Lux or an LAV. You don't have anything like that. D30s are pretty bad in direct fire mode. I'm just doing this to try to distract him. It's not gonna work though. He's taking the entire map from me. And uh... It's just over. There's nothing you can do. What you can do, though, is you can take all of your U.S. trucks, you can ball them up, all the different types of U.S. trucks that you have, you can ball them up, and then you can rush at them, which is pretty decent, unless you're fighting another airborne div. Fighting another airborne div, you just lose flat out, because every other airborne div has shit tons of 10, 11-man squads, 
and they also have better bombers they have better asfs they might not have better helicopters than you. 11 you will not have better helicopters than you but you can't defend your helicopters so your helicopters are going to be dead they're going to be useless anyways what this division really needs is it needs su-27s and it needs some sort of radar AA. So that way you can spot planes coming in earlier and then maybe you get a chance at defending your helicopter but i'm going to show you an example of a game where i try to do the u.s rush so this game i'm going to try to be as scummy as possible i'm going to elo opener with the as rush so i have a nice ball of Two Conquers, two SPG-9s, and two BRDMs on either side, backed up by an MI-24K. And then I'm sending a strong infantry formation over here. But as a result, I can only afford one Igla. And uh, I'm not able to stop him from getting into here with his better infantry. And on the other side, his Saggy's just ripping me to shreds. So that is that strategy can't do it against other airborne decks you can do it against non-airborne decks though and it's pretty good but fuck man you're just not allowed to play this deck right now it definitely needs a buff of some sort and i would say uh just delete it from your uh, your armory for right now because you shouldn't even like have it in your armory to be tempted by it to play it. even though it used to be a really fun division you used to be able to uh play this well but now you you just can't you can't do anything you get a similarly skilled opponent i would say you can still noob stop with this pretty well but yeah that's that and uh yeah that's why i think that the 35th is the worst game division in the game like even compared to somebody like kda what other people might think is the worst division of the game kda gets tanks and they get 14-man squads that aren't back-breakingly expensive. They also get good cheap plane spam. You don't. There's just uh, nothing else to say here. Like, even a tank deck, like, five Panzer will absolutely smoke in an infantry fight. Just no hope. No hope. At the, the limitless availability of five Panzer is kind of scary. You could beat third armor up a little. Your best matchup is against other Soviet decks because you're the same, but or deploy, but other Soviet decks have tanks and you don't. Other Soviet decks also may have the SU-27. You're stuck relying on big 29s. Yeah, that's that. Horrible division. Never play it. Anyways, boys, if you like this one, obviously like the video, leave a comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.